The following show is sponsored by Utah Ford Stores. Welcome to Fresh Living, everyone. I'm Carrie Hawker Diaz. And I'm Alora Murray, and we are joined by a very special guest, as you can see. David James, our very uh, Utah's famous David James, as known by KUTV. Do I'm giving him spirit you? fingers, but <laughs> spirit fingers. But my mittens won't let me do it. Well, great I, to see I, you. I appreciate you guys being out here again and taking it on the road here to the uh, to the Ford store. Ford across the state of Utah. The Ford dealers have been a great partner with the Super Bowl of Carrie, and they've helped feed a lot of hungry kids this last uh, decade or so. That's right, we absolutely love partnering with them and we have a fun show packed for you. If you saw the show last time, we did a relay <laughs> and Caitlin was here with us. And I'm us. ready, I'm getting, I'm getting my lunges We've been ready. Stretching. I'm ready. We're getting so. ready. And it's you aren't gonna ride the uh, bike or trike or scooter <laughs> or whatever that is. Harry's that was the challenge. That's... I'm opting out this year. I get to yeah. hand the winner the trophy, so I'm excited. So, so you've already won. I've already won basically, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> That's um, what she's claiming. And we are here to help fight childhood mm -hmm. hunger. DJ, do you feel like the pandemic made this worse or do you think it's helping? The pandemic has done both at the same time. It has absolutely made it worse. It's put more stress on families. Uh, we know a lot of people lost their jobs. People had their hour cut, hours cut. There was a lot of turmoil. And you know, if you got a financial cushion, it's bad, but you can weather it. Mm -hmm. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck or you only have a small cushion, it's hard, yeah. you know? And so I think what we have seen is that donations are way up. That's where it's helped. I think it's made sense to people. Hey, I really have to work with the Utah Food Bank, the regional food pantries across Utah, the pantries in my local schools. So from that aspect, it's helped because there's more, there's this awareness that, hey, the kids who are already living in poverty, this is really hard on them. So it's really helped the donations flow. That has been a positive, but you've got this huge negative over here which, you know, anytime a kid is hungry, that is super sad. The kid is not gonna excel in school. It's really hard to concentrate and learn when you're hungry. Right, it's very true. Well, that's the last thing literally our children should have to be worrying about is where they're gonna get their next meal. And I think a lot of times we forget that during COVID, some kids were at home and yeah. maybe at school they have their lunch, but at uh -huh. home they might not. Do you think that's, that makes a difference? That's an excellent point and that is part of, you know, this debate about schools being open and what's safe and it gets to the point where there is no good option or no right choice. And one of the problems with staying home is the kids who live in poverty who qualify free and reduced lunch, they're not getting it because they're not at school. Yeah, that's right. Do you think that we can donate year round? I mean, I know we try to push yes. this for Super Bowl caring, but I think it's good to remember that year round, what can we do, DJ, if we're thinking about this maybe in the summer, in fall, all the year round? So that's an excellent point. And the Super Bowl caring, the national board, they have switched their focus. They've officially changed their name to Tackle Hunger. Super Bowl of Caring is now an event they do. Tackle Hunger is what they do year round. To the degree you can have events that raise money, collect food, and create awareness. I would say collecting food is the third most important thing there. Yeah. The awareness, because you're not gonna do anything until people are aware there's an issue. And then money is always more effective than food. Because we don't have a food shortage. What we have is a distribution issue. The people who need the food can't get to the pantry when it's open because they're the working poor and they're at work. Or the one vehicle that two families are sharing has gotten somebody to work and the other people can't get to the pantry. It's why opening school pantries has been so effective right. because people are getting their kids to school right. and the schools are in the neighborhoods and are often walkable. And so that's been a big plus. And there are pantries now open all across the state. I could, we're at the point now where I could not possibly name every school that has a pantry. Right. It's over a hundred yes. and the Jordan district, the Cash district, the Logan district, they're at 90, 95% of their schools have pantries. Well, and this is why we're here. We're gonna help fight childhood hunger here with the Utah Ford mm -hmm. stores. And I'm gonna head in now to talk to the general manager, Phil, right inside.